Hello, my name is Ryan Page, and I'm an application specialist for Techless Structures. Today in this video, we're going to be covering the second part of our two-part series on firm folders. In part one, we covered an introduction to firm folders. This included such topics as defining what they are, why to use one, where the best place to put one would be, and generally, how do firm folders work? If you're unfamiliar with the concept of a firm folder, or creating safe settings for parts, then it's recommended you watch part one first before proceeding with this video. For this video, the topics we are going to discuss today are use of the directory browser to point techless structures to your firm folder, creating and moving settings from a model to the firm folder, and lastly, firm folder tips and tricks. So the best place to start when establishing your firm folder within Tecla is to make sure you've got a couple of safe settings to work with. This is great for testing and making sure that Tecla is reading your firm folder. So before we get into setting all that up, I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of presets. Now, if you already have your own presets, there's no reason to create more unless you want to. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and create a couple more. I'm going to use a column tool and I'm going to create a couple of presets that differ from one another. I like to go about placing a generic column and then modifying the properties afterwards. This way I can see the changes and verify that the configuration is correct in the way I need it. In this case, I'll do three presets, C1, 2, and 3. And once I have them established here, I'm going to go back to the properties pane, type in my file name, and hit the save button. I'll use a company prefix, such as TR, to make my settings easier to find. Uh, then I'll follow it up with just the tool that I use to create it, so column, and then after that I'll give it a specific name. Now, as mentioned in the previous video, you can save settings for just about anything inside of Tecla, whether it's steel or concrete items, columns, beams, so on and so forth, or it's filters for drawing settings, or the organizer, or even just components that you use frequently. So once this is all done, I'm going to go ahead and save my model for good measure. Uh, now we just need to go ahead and grab those safe settings from my model folder and then place them in the firm folder. Then we can go begin pointing Tecla permanently to our firm folder location. Now if you recall in part one, the files are saved in the attribute subfolder of our model folder. And so we'll need to go and navigate there. And once we do and we find them, we can highlight them. And they're all easy to find because we use a company prefix. We can select them and we can cut them. Not copy, but cut. And there's a really good reason why we want to go ahead and cut these from the model folder as opposed to copying. It's important to understand that when Tecla looks for files and reads and finds these presets and these save settings, that it looks into the model folder first. And if it finds what it's looking for, it will look no further for anything that is of a duplicate name. So if you had out-of-date save settings in your model folder and more up-to-date ones in your firm folder, it would read the out-of-date ones and never see the up-to-date ones. Typically, the search order for reading files inside of Tecla is the current model that you're in, then the project folder, then the firm folder, and then the system. There are a few cases where this may vary, but for the most part, this is the general rule. Now that we're set up to test our firm folder, let's go ahead and point Tecla to its location. We're going to use the directory browser to modify the default user.ini file. This file will contain the file path of our firm folder, so Tecla reads it for every model, every time. To find the directory browser, let's go to the Applications and Components side pane, and in there, search for directory browser. Double-click on the yellow folder directory browser icon, and it'll bring up its dialog box. The directory browser is a tool that helps us find and modify the location of various Tecla structures files, folders, and customization settings. We're going to be focusing on the basic tab. And on this tab, we have various buttons that will take us to our working directories. For example, if we select the user settings button, it'll take us to the location of the user INI file. Once we update this file, we can use the directory browser then to navigate to our firm folder location in the same way. For now though, we need to move over to the right hand side of the dialog box and select the large user settings button. This will bring up the actual file in a plain text editor, such as Notepad. Now, the user INI file is where you can save your personal settings and directories. So now we are going to populate our file paths for our firm folder, as well as where our templates are going to be housed. On the fourth line that reads rem set xs underscore firm, we need to remove the rem and space that follows it. For reference, REM stands for remark, and if it's present on the line of text, Tecla will skip over reading and applying the setting. Now, go to your firm folder location and copy the file path. 
then come back to the file and paste it after the equal sign for xs underscore firm. Next, let's go ahead and hit the return key and establish a new line of text. In this new line, please type the following. In lowercase, set, space, then in all caps, xs underscore template underscore directory. This line is going to establish the file path for all of our templates for drawings and reports and such. Now let's go back to our firm folder and double click the template subfolder. If you don't have this folder, go ahead and create it now. And then once you do, copy that file path and paste it after the equal sign on xs underscore template underscore directory, just like we did for the firm folder. Then save the file and close. Okay, now all we need to do is test this out. We already have some safe settings inside of our firm folder. The only thing we need to do is restart Tecla. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll save our model and then close Tecla structures. Now Tecla has restarted and we've got to keep one thing in mind. Going forward, our user INI settings are going to apply to any new model that we create, right? So we may have some existing models out there that we're going to need to update the advanced settings for our firm folder locations manually. Going forward, you should be set. Let's test that right now. Let's go to new and then we're going to just select our directory that we want to save our new model and we can do firm test as the name. We can use our desired cast in place rebar detailing template and hit create. Okay, once the new model is open, let's open up our 3D view. And there's two ways we can test if our firm folder is pointing to the right direction. First, we can go to our concrete ribbon, then to our column tools, make sure we're looking at our properties pane, and let's double check our dropdowns. And there are our save settings, the fruits of our labor. The other way we can test too is we can quickly go to our advanced settings and see if the file path is populated. We can go through the file menu or we can hit Control E as a keyboard shortcut and we can see here that the firm folder has been populated as well as the template directory. Success. From here on out, any new model that we create is going to be pointing to our firm folder. That means any settings we create now or in the future and that are housed in our firm folder, part settings, component settings, filters, organizer, drawing settings, you name it, is going to be available at our fingertips every single time. To point an existing Tecla Structures model to a new firm folder, follow these steps. 1. Open the Advanced Settings by hitting the shortcut Ctrl E or going to the File menu, Settings, and then Advanced Options. 2. Ensure that you are looking at the File Locations subdirectory. 3. Go to your firm folder location in Windows and copy the firm folder location in the address bar. 4. Paste the address in the empty value field for xs underscore firm. 5. Hit apply at the bottom left of the advanced options window. Then click OK on the pop-up window. 6. Close the advanced options, save the model, and then reopen it. Naming of all your custom settings with a standardized format can greatly help in organization and identification of company settings. One simple method may look like specifying a company prefix, then using the object type or setting type, and then a specific name. Some examples include tr underscore column underscore c1, where the company being Trimble, the part being column, and then the specific type being c1. The same could be said for slabs and slab on grade. However, this extends to other things such as filters, drawing settings, organizer settings. One other practice you may want to consider is using a non-alphanumerical character in the prefix, such as a plus sign. For example, plus tr underscore footing underscore f1. This will ensure that all of your safe settings that are read from the firm folder show at the very top of the drop-down menus. Now that you've established your firm folder and used the user INI file to point Tecla structures to it on a consistent basis, you can repeat this process for each user in your company. However, depending on your company size, that may be a bit tedious. There's a way to save yourself a little bit of time. So for the user who has already set it up, let's go into Tecla structures and ensure that this is a new model or a model that's already pointing to our firm folder. We'll go over to our applications and components side pane, and then we'll search for the directory browser once again. 
Once we do, let's open up the directory browser and ensure that we're on the basic tab. And then we're just going to come down over here to the small button that says user settings. By clicking this, this will bring up a Windows Explorer window to the file path in which our user INI is saved. So we can note the location here. It is unique for each user on each PC, as it's going to have your username and other information there. However, this is the file that we've established through this video series. We can actually copy this file and then go ahead to our firm folder and bring that up. And we can paste it in here. Now, it is at a location in which all users can find it very simply. Now all any user has to do is come over and copy this from their computer and use the directory browser to go to the user settings location and then paste within there. Once they do, they should save their model, close down Tecla structures, and reopen. From there on, any new model that they create will also point to the user settings. Now, with this said, if you have an existing model that already points to your firm folder and other template directories, then they should have no problem seeing it as that's stored on a model level. But this is an excellent way to speed up the process of getting everybody set up so that if other users are responsible for creating new models, that they can do so with the same settings established by your company standard. This concludes part two of our firm folder video series. Thank you for watching. For more information on the topics discussed in this video, please see the information listed in the description. For other topics, make sure to visit our Tecla User Assistance webpage for product guides, support articles, tutorials, and more.